Hi guys. Well, this is the first time I actually pick up my camera, my phone, whatever, and start filming. It is 7 o'clock at night. Um, we ate today, obviously, but it was really stressful and hectic today, so I just wasn't feeling it. Um, basically, we found out that <sighs> basically the first whole semester of virtual school is kind of a write-off for Aubriel. Not really officially a write-off, but there's only like eight days left of first semester, and we've spent so much time trying to just get her caught up that it's almost impossible at this point. So... Moving forward, I've made her move down to the kitchen to start doing her schoolwork down here. In my presence, I can monitor easier and better that way. Because when I was up there, I would think that she was working. She was, you know, looking at the screen. Sometimes she'd be typing. I know she wasn't chatting. Maybe she was pretending. I don't know. But I guess she was just basically staring at the screen and not doing anything. So... Moving forward, we've got a new strategy in place. Um, had a couple conferences with her teacher, a couple emails, so it was kind of stressful today. So I didn't film anything. Um, and also, I ordered a late lunch, and I ordered A&W because <laughs> I wanted a burger, and I guess I kind of stress eat. But I did get sweet potato fries, so that's like the redeeming factor. But... We're going to just call today a junk day because I currently have a pizza roll up in the oven and I'm going to show you guys that in a minute here. I, as you'll see, I did fail to film the assembly, so we're just going to wing it. <laughs> and I have a couple other things I kind of want to show you and it's just going to be a little shorty tonight and hopefully tomorrow I can, um, show you guys what we eat and it'll be a little less hectic and stressful but I just want to come on and say hi guys I missed y'all all right y'all um so I failed to film as I was going but for dinner I just took out one of these pizza crusts slapped some of the leftover marinara on there some matzo cheese black olives and pepperoni and rolled her all up and like so voila and i am going to make pizza roll up so i'm gonna wait until this is done cooking let it set for a minute and then uh slice into slices and we'll have it for whenever and when i say whenever i really mean later <laughs> i don't think anything anybody's really that hungry we had a late lunch so i'm just gonna let it set and pizza's great it's reheatable so there you have it all right she's finito i just hope that once this cools and i slice into it it goes how i envisioned it well she ain't pretty and i can't say that it turned out exactly like i had hoped it would but i'll give it a shot I just hope it's fully cooked, <laughs> like the layers where I like overlap dough or whatever, because I like rolled it into an actual like log. I guess it's basically a stromboli. <laughs> I was trying to be creative. I don't know what happened. I also wanted to share with you my new fridge sign. <laughs> this is to deter both Rob and myself from getting those forbidden late night snacks. He's worse for it than I am, but I'm really trying to stay between 1,200 and 1,500 calories a day. Today, I managed so far, I'll say, so far, and that's including the A&W, to stay uh, right around 1,200 calories. If I have a slice of that pizza roll-up, it might tip me over 1,400, but that's okay. Anyways, it says... You could have easily lost 30 pounds this month. I love Dr. Now. <laughs> I also wanted to note, I ended up getting my shelves last evening. And my friend helped me put them up because Rob was having an old man nap. So 
It was teamwork all the way. They're not exactly stylized how I want them, but I think they're cute. And in an effort to spruce up my kitchen, it's looking a little bit less ghetto in here lately. Yes, I need to wipe off my menu board and uh, actually create a new one. And I've started decorating a little bit here and there for Valentine's Day, as you can see. Uh, I'll be picking up more as soon as I can get my butt to the Dollar Tree. All right, it is now Tuesday mid-morning, and I'm just whipping up some brunch right now because it's a little later in the morning. Um, it's a harder to record any footage while I have Aubrielle on the main floor with me, but this morning we're just going to have some of these diced hash browns. They're great value brand, and I put same pink Himalayan salt, garlic, and pepper on top, so I'm just gonna let those go until they're crispy. And I'm just pairing those potatoes with some good old-fashioned fried bologna. Had a hankering for some bologna, so there you have it. This is breakfast, folks. I'll try to squeeze in some lunch and most definitely dinner before I post this. And here, my friends, we have brunch. All right, for Tuesday night's dinner, I'm just browning up this ground pork and beef mixture. Browning up, I should say. And I'm going to make egg roll in a bowl. So this is step number one, or numero uno. I'm just going to add a little bit of red onions, or purple, however you look at it. I don't know. I'm going to cook them down with the meat. I don't... I'm not a professional here, but... That's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully they blend in real good, cause Rob is a weenie. All right, pretty self-explanatory. Um, egg roll in a bowl is not hard. You basically just brown your meat, and then you dump a bag of, of pre-mixed um, coleslaw on there. I added about a quarter cup of soy sauce, a little Worcestershire sauce, um, garlic powder, and a little bit of ginger, and you just basically cook it down until your coleslaw is soft, and then it's ready to eat. Um, it's low carb, it's tasty. Um, for the rest of the family, they can put it on rice, and it can it'll be like an Asian dish for them. But I'm just going to eat this plain. All right, here's my plate. It does not look pretty, but I just topped with some sesame seeds. And the beauty of this thing is you can eat a fair amount before it really does anything to you. It's nothing but healthy. I mean, other than the fact that you have to fry the meat, but like in a frying pan to brown it, but it's, it's relatively healthy. And as I said, here is how the rest of my family will be eating their egg roll in a bowl. It's going to be topping rice. <laughs> 